and a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. I'm Pres Michelle. Thanks for joining us once again for a quick chat. And of course, our morning cup of coffee. Good morning, everybody. We hope you're having a really nice day. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for joining us. And uh, I don't remember when it was, um, maybe a month or so, maybe even further maybe back. Even, okay. I don't remember. I did a video way back when. I don't even think you were you were on with me at the that point. Yeah, the good old days. Yeah, the good old days. Um, the bad old days. I mentioned Caitlin Clark. Uh, now, I don't follow women's basketball. I don't really follow basketball anymore. Um, but, you know, it was sort of everything that was in the news sports wise. Everyone was talking about this new phenom in the WNBA. They were talking about Caitlin Clark. So mm-hmm. I, I did a, a little video on that, giving you my take on the whole thing. And so there's been more news, of course. I know that there's a lot, not a lot happening in sports. Um, <laughs> but major, it's been ma- major League Baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, a different video. Yeah, I have a hard time with baseball lately. I don't know. Uh, I know people love it and they, they watch it and I should like it. The Dodgers are playing. I grew up a Dodgers fan, not nice. really, not really a Dodgers fan much anymore. Cause I haven't lived in LA in forever. But other than that, the big sports news, other than baseball, which okay. can be like watching paint dry. <laughs> other than that is, uh, Caitlin Clark's big announcement now after finishing uh, her rookie year and she got rookie of the year, of course. Not unanimously. Someone had to be a spoiler. Yeah. She got 66 out of 67 yeah, votes. Yeah, one person. Um, she announced that she's not coming back to the WNBA next year. She's going to Europe. She's going to go play. Yeah. People are freaking out. They are freaking yeah. out. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if it's substantiated or not. That's right. I don't know what to believe. We looked it up. We tried to find some information. I, but everyone's yeah. talking about it. I don't yeah. know if it's true or not. Let's assume that it is true. Okay. It's pretty remarkable if she's really doing that, right? If she's really... Because, and this is what I wanted to talk about in terms of the spiritual life, maybe how it can impact us a little bit. This idea that you you get comfortable with what's familiar and sort of what you think your path is, and it's sort of all planned out for you. Mm-hmm. We all assumed, well, Caitlin Clark plays for the WNBA. She's a rookie. Now she's going to play her whole career for the WNBA. Well, we thought that's what she was working for the whole time. Sure. I mean, that's that's the pinnacle of what you do, right? That's what you do. Right. And that's what she's... And then all of a sudden, no, no, no. After one year, she's had enough and she's going to Europe. Yeah. And no one, I think, would have predicted that. So the idea that you can subvert expectation and you can do what's not expected or what's not familiar you know, for you and you can sort of take a chance and you can do something that is unexpected and less familiar. It's interesting because I don't think people thought she had, maybe is it that they didn't think she had the strength or that she didn't have the character? I mean, they, they don't know her well enough. Why can't she decide to do what she wants to do? Why do they think, oh, the N the WNBA, that's, that's the ultimate for you. That's as good as it's going to get. Well, I mean, Nobody can put that That's on you. That's true. But the equivalent right. would be like saying, you know, because she's a phenom, right? She's she's one of the top prospects right. ever that they've seen. So the equivalent would be some, some huge NBA star. Like a Kobe or Michael Jordan? Right. Or, okay. you know, LeBron or something oh. coming, you know, somebody that came out of out of the system in college ball right. and then is expected to be amazing to say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a world-class top player and I'm not going to play in the NBA. I'm going to go play in Europe, right? And so it's sort of like, well, why would you do that? So it's the same sort of thing. Now, we, you can have the discussions about what she went through and all the flagrant fouls and all of the garbage that she had to deal with and the league and all that. I, I still don't know how much I believe any of that. I think that all of that was kind of, again, like I made the comparison in the last video about Larry Bird and Michael Johnson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, How yeah. it was kind of cooked up to sort of have a rivalry to get, get the viewings ratings. and get ratings. And yeah. I think they were doing that, honestly. Okay. However, she's still leaving and going to Europe, if that's true. And how for us in our spiritual life, we get in our grind and we get in our routine. And it's like, well, this is, you know, I get up and I do this and this is how I, I do everything in the spiritual life. This is how I fast. This is how I pray yeah. or not. Um, this is how I read the Bible or not. This is what I do. This is when I go to church or not. And that's familiar. That's expected. That's what we do. To have the guts to sort of just go to Europe, you know, metaphorically speaking, to right. say, 
no, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do something totally different. I'm going to try something totally different that I haven't tried before. And that can be incredibly beneficial. And liberating, right? To be able to feel like you're not stuck in. uh, Right. I think that's interesting. You, you've talked before, we've, we've talked about before when people feel that it's their family trait, there's different family traits we have. And a lot of times in the Orthodox faith, we say, keep the good, get rid of the bad, break the chain, right? Right. Some things you want to break, some, some routines you want to break. And I think in the spiritual life, like you're saying, why can't we take it to the next level? Why can't we break through, um, I don't know, just a routine that's not, not living up to our potential. She has all the potential in the world. She makes money. She's talented. She's going to go to Europe. Right. So we're in our routine and we go to church on Sunday. We do nothing else all week. Why aren't we? And that's what we were taught. Why aren't we? Right. Let's yeah. say that's what, what you're saying is that, well, that's what I was taught from yeah. my parents, what we yeah. did in my family growing up. So this I'm is just, what we do. Yeah. I'm perpetuating that. I'm do, everyone yeah. that came before her. Right. right. All of the all of the stars that came before her that right. she looked up to that she said, wow, I want to be like all of these stars. Uh, I, I'm struggling to name WNBA <laughs> stars. Cheryl Swoops. <laughs> I um, don't even know that name. Tarazi. <laughs> right. Tarazi um, Miller. Hey, look at uh, there's you, a few. Though. There's a few. There's a few. I mean, <laughs> I'm struggling because I, I don't watch the WNBA. But if she looked up to these people, she's sort of thinking, okay, they set the precedent. This is mm-hmm. how it's done. You go through college, you do this. I mean, she scored the most points ever in college. Yeah. Right? And she's coming in as a phenom. And so she's thinking, I'm going to... So it's the same way. Like, well, that's how my parents raised us. You know, we didn't fast for Christmas. We didn't go to church on Christmas. That's how I was raised. So that's what I'm going to do. You know what? Go to Europe. No. Subvert the expectation. Do something different. Be, be brave be enough. Be great. Yeah. yeah. Be brave enough to say, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. I, I want to do it this way. I can do it my way. Yeah. I can do it better. And that's okay. Change is, is healthy in the spiritual life. We want growth, right? So yeah. if you want growth, you have to expect change. Yeah. Growth by definition is there's some change <laughs> happening. Otherwise, things aren't growing. And I think that's something that we want in our spiritual life. And so I think it's an interesting sort of metaphor, thinking about her breaking out all of expectations, yeah. saying, no, you know what? I had enough of this garbage. I'm going to Europe. And I don't know where she's signing. You know, I haven't paid attention enough. We don't know details. And, yeah. But here's the thing. It's like, well, no, you could stay here and you could be grinding it out where you are. Where is she in Indiana? And yeah. going, you know, to the different places around America and getting ha- hacked and getting fouled and getting all this bad press and all yeah. these people calling you. The only reason that you're doing good is because of, you know, that you're pretty or because you're white <laughs> or she's dealing with all of this. And what is she, 22, 23? She's young. She's right. Yeah. Or go play in Europe, right? Travel around Europe, some of the most beautiful places in the world where everyone's just going to go crazy be for you being you. there yeah. and be this mega star and I'm sure make more money than you know what to do with. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what I would do. It's yeah. kind of like, I don't know, Indiana or Italy. I don't know where I would go. <laughs> and it's kind of like, well, I get it. And it's the same thing for us in the spiritual life. It's sort of like, it's okay to do what's less familiar and say, well, I, I, I don't, I'm not expected to do that, but yeah. that's going to help me grow in Christ. Yeah. And so if I know it's going to help me grow in Christ... Why not try it? Why not do something a little bit different? Yeah. And if you shock the people around you, who cares? Right. That's because okay. people also like us comfortable in our spot. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like her team might, it's, might be mad at her because she's leaving, but she's thinking about something else. So you might say, hey, I'm going to do this in my spiritual life, or I might become better at this. And your family or your friends might be like, what are you, what are you messing with this for? Sure. And so you got to be ready for that. And you got to say, you know what? I'm going to Europe. Well, and that's the <laughs> other thing is think about now the precedent she's setting for all the young girls coming up after her yeah. out of college and learning, looking to turn pro that they're not just thinking WNBA with blinders on thinking, no, this is my path. This is how I do it. She's now opened everything up and said, no, it's a global sport. Maybe you can think about all these other options. And yeah. it's the same thing. The people around you might see you doing something different. Well, wait a minute. You never you never fasted for Christmas. Yeah, but it's okay to do that. Or you never went and volunteered at that charity. Yeah. I see you. You never read your Bible before. Why you are you talking? You never went to confession before. We didn't do that. Right. Yeah. We don't do that. You for your fast thing. <laughs> Who fasts on Friday? We don't do that. What is it? Holy week? What are you yeah. doing? What are you, a nun? Are you a monk? What are you doing? Yeah. Well, no, I'm just an Orthodox Christian and I'm not used to doing it. It's not expected of me. 
but it's okay. It's, it's getting me closer to Christ. And I think that's an important thing uh, for us to think about and realize that that's what we want to be doing, yeah. you know, and, and that's the ultimate goal. So I think it's a great metaphor for us. And I think it's instructive for us to know we can break molds. We can do not what is expected or familiar. And we can do that to get closer and closer to Christ each and every day. Amen.